well, and we'll be steering from the forward station today, so whoever's doing the steering will uh, be right next to the pilot who's going to be Captain Burns. So normally you'd have the captain, possibly the second mate uh, on the chart, and then an able seaman, and then the pilot would come on board, and that would pretty much be it. Uh, this is very much the, the way it's, it's going, and with uh, redundancy in the ECTA systems where uh, they have full redundancy. In other words, if we shot this one, shot the screen out of this one right now, on a ship that's paperless compliant, they would have a completely redundant system with its own electronics, its own wiring, its own backup, its own everything. So you would have to have something extremely catastrophic on an ECTUS compliant uh, paperless ship in order to completely train wreck the, the whole electronic charting system. So anyway, you know the younger kids, they're, they're totally good with this. Our, our iPhone kids, our kids that are born with their thumbs doing this, they're totally good with this, really. Heavy, single screw, slow speed diesel ship. It takes her a lot of time to build up speed, it takes her a lot of time to slow down, uh, and it takes her a lot of time to turn. Uh, from the bridge here also you'll notice that uh, our we have blind spots around the ship, and that's something you want to be aware of from uh, from your side. Is that as we look out over you know, from the bridge, we're looking over a stack of containers, and we can't even see our own bow. Uh, if you extend that out, uh, we probably have a blind spot of at least a quarter mile in front of us where we can't see anything. We don't know if that little speedboat crashed into us or is going to pop out the other side, and it makes it pretty. Uh, Pretty harrowing if um, while you're waiting for that that person to exit, and we'll, we'll probably see that happen in this exercise. Um, so just those those type of things to keep in mind, uh, and we can really only navigate within that that narrow channel. There isn't much room for us to, to deviate from that, uh, and and we can't slow down very quickly. We're going to be going along. Once we get up under the bridge, we'll probably pull it back to 10 knots. Uh, and then from that point, we'll actually start slowing down very early, a lot, a lot earlier than, than you would think. So by the time we're getting ready to make our approach into the slip, we want to be down around two knots. And as we get up even closer to that, down around one, we want to be moving alongside the pier at maybe like 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 as we're pushing the tugs in, uh, pushing in with the tugs rather, or, or more hours in port handling cargo. Uh, the chief mate's job is the chief mate's in charge of cargo. Uh, the other mates do assist him. But um, every minute of sleep is precious. We've got a knot and a half ahead. We're making our approach. We're going to probably put the, the bridge wing right about here. Okay, so we're just going to continue in like this for a little bit. I'll come, I'll start pushing with the uh, after tub once we're clear of that corner right here. Okay, so we're just going to continue ahead until that point. Once we get a little bit, give it a quicker stir, you know, a dead slope. Yeah, uh, Rick, got one line on the port bow. Just be sure that they are matched. Not a lot more bang for buck. Uh, Roger that, Rick, thank you. Doing a little seesaw at the dock. So he did a nice job. Right five. Right five. It's the pilot aboard the Buccaneer Pride. Go ahead. Good morning, Cap. Uh, beautiful day today. Everybody's ready to rock and roll here. And, uh, just put it right in the middle of all the entries. You sure you got water up there, uh, Global Marine? We we're going uh, to the turn to the pier here where the truck is. Uh, yes, sir, we do. Today we have plenty of water. Okay, roger that. Going alongside the gantries. Change of plan, Captain. They want us uh, to go up there where the uh, where the contain, container cranes are. I was going to put you right here, but they've uh, they've changed the plans on us. So what's just, different? Why? Uh, I guess they must have another ship coming in behind us. Uh, but they assure us that there's enough water up there. How much? Uh, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. That <laughs> <laughs> <Might> as well. <laughs> on the Rick and on the Brian, we're going up. I'll stop on the Rick. They're probably going to line pop and crack. 
that the sea state at New York Harbor is 4.3 feet. Uh, temperature is 30 degrees in Clement weather and severe lightning storms. Off, Johnny. <laughs> Stay, uh, danger close. We don't want you to go out engine. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the latest 